What up, boys? It's Gaz, and welcome to another Warframe video. Was that pronounced correctly? I think it was. So, we are going over a Hellman's build today. It's been a bit since we put one of these out. Uh, and this is actually a very simple setup here. Uh, not the only option for this frame, honestly, but it's one that is very effective and can open a nice little playstyle for Vobin. So yeah, before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button and keep up to date on those channel videos. Now we're using the Kuva Brahma from the video yesterday. And what other guns we got? We got the Catabolist from a future video, and we got the Strofa, which I need to make a video on as well. So keep an eye out on those videos coming out here in the next couple of days. But yeah, we're going to go over Helminth Vobin. And what we're using today is we're going to be using Spectral Rage from Gara. Not super powerful ability, but it does have a great augment mod that gives you a 50% chance to drop an energy orb from an enemy that dies within the circular, the circle of the mirrors. Uh, when the enemy is dead, we use the Augment mod. So we have Vobin's fourth ability, Bastille and Vortex. We're going to be using the Vortex portion here. Suck all the enemies in, put the Spectral Rage down. You are now the energy uh, dis dispenser. You, there is too much energy, honestly. 50% of the time, you will be dropping Energy Orb. And uh, yeah, your teammates will have more energy than they'll ever need. And the enemies can't even fight back. So, you know, that's pretty nice. All grouped up, and they're dead. And as you can see, the energy orbs just fly around there in a nice little circle. That's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, this Now, there's a couple things with this, weapon, with this ability. Of course, the enemies do get pulled from a decent distance, but they might get stuck to a wall. That's something you should keep in mind. They might get stuck to a wall. Look at all these energy orbs. Jeez. Um... So one of the problems with Vobin is that his Vortex will get enemies stuck to a wall a lot of the time. So running a weapon like the Kuva Brahma, like the Tonkor, like the Glaive Prime, things that we use to kill enemies through walls is going to be your best bet for this. And this is a one form of Vobin build. You can honestly just take off Augur Secrets from even more range, but I want a little bit of strength just so my Photon Laser can um, do some more damage. Because, you know, at low levels this is kind of okay, I guess. Um, it's it's something you can actually use your energy. You have so much energy that you don't need enough. You have too much energy. So you, you're going to use Photon Strike, I guess, here and there just to blast enemies with a big laser in your Vortex. And honestly, Mind Layer, Mind Layer I just didn't want to replace instead of the Tesla Nervos. I think Mind Layer is better, personally. So yeah, the build is basically just all range, rolling guard, and a little bit of duration with Prime Sure Footed, a very important mod if you do have it. If you don't have it, Feel free to put some more range up there uh, with, what's it called again? You could you could run Power Drift to have some more strength, or you could run uh, Cunning Drift for more range, which would get you to max range if you put Cunning Drift up in that last slot. But of course, you'll get knocked over by your Koopa Brahma in that case. Um, Arcan Energize is probably overkill, honestly. You could replace that Arcan Energize with something else. Maybe even give those new Theorem Arcanes a try, since the enemies will... You'll be standing in one... It's a very camping-focused playstyle we're using right here. Um, so you could maybe just try this out with like the Spore Laser Secondary. Get a nice little buff going on. It's really up to you. We have Arcane Fury to increase the damage of our Strofa, which we'll, we'll go over in a future video. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, enemy Radar to see... So here, this is important. If you're not going to be looking for the damage numbers through the walls, Enemy Radar will let you see where the enemies are stuck to the walls. So let's just spawn them in again. I'm going to put Invincibility on just for convenience sake. So watch this. So you hold on the 4 button to activate the, um, the Vortex. These guys are stuck to the wall. They're not going to get... Uh, they, they still will count for Spectra Siphon if you kill them there, but um, knowing where they are and being able to shoot the Brahma at that wall to kill them on the other side is pretty nice. And it will your teammates will appreciate it. Um, even though, like, you, you basically are controlling the entire battlefield with just that one ability. So, very nice stuff there. I'll show it in some gameplay as well. Um, I don't use Vobin that much, to be honest. And what's the pull distance of this Vortex? It does not show. I guess it's the same radius as the Bastille, which is 26.5. And then the, um, I guess I don't show the radius on this either. So, you know, it's basically, it's not too hard to figure out. You put down the four, you put down the Spectro Siphon, and then the energy just, it starts pouring out of every orifice. So, yeah, I mean, what else do you need to know? Let's just do some gameplay real quick. This is the Steel Path. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're not showing really damage or anything like that, but this is just the Steel Path, Cuba Survival. You could use, if you don't have Korra, and you want to do the Steel Essence and Kuva farm from the other day, uh, you can just use Vobin, you know. Uh, and the, sure, you, you'll give people plenty of energy. 
Um, the Spectral Siphon, it also distracts the enemy. If for some reason the enemy is not stunned, the enemy can shoot the Spectral Siphon instead of you, instead of the Kufa Tower. Pretty good stuff going on there. Um, but yeah, the, one of Vobin's big problems is getting those enemies stuck to the walls, for sure. I, I definitely find that very annoying. Um, and that's why I, I'm going to say it's not like, this is not like the new play style of Vobin or anything like that. But um, there will be some specific farms where this is actually really good. Some farms that are probably too good to have in a video, honestly. So, um, but maybe, maybe River Board will make it someday. But um, yeah, this is great. This works for Necro... When Necromex are able to be spawned in missions, like normal missions, this is a great way to give Necromex energy. Because um, it, it's just so many energy orbs, and Necromex like energy orbs. So there you go, full energy for your Necromech all the time. And a very easy place to just like easily murder the enemies. And they're all stunned, like I said. These are also technically, this is magnetic damage. I believe it will magnetic proc as well, which could potentially be okay for Corpus uh, missions. But, you know, most people who are doing it right are just going to mod for Toxin and bypass the shields. But, you know, not everyone wants to do that. So I, I can understand if you want to go for those magnetic procs. Uh, and make it so the enemies cannot regenerate their shield. And it, it's like, so magnetic is basically viral for shields where it increases damage. I believe it also makes it so the shields will not regenerate as well, which is kind of nice. We'll see, like, because there's certain things with cor with uh, Corpus, like the Corpus Rachnoids, I think they're called. Um, they have a uh, really gigantic shield, and they also have, like, armor underneath that. So... Maybe they'll be spawning those kinds of enemies in the Corpus Lich uh, Queen Pins or whatever they're called. I, I just can't wait for that update, honestly. I hope that I know they're not going to give us a release date, but I would love if they gave us a release date for that so I could just take it off work and just like you know grind that update out. And just actually be excited for an update because um, it's it's why like in, in Warframe, you know, new strong weapons, some new uh, gameplay features, and just like playing missions, you know, getting stuff to drop. It's it's a good time, and I, I can't wait. As we die there. Something you definitely could throw on this build is natural talent. Fobin's casting speed is crappy. Um, it really is. I'd say you could just take off maybe... Yeah, take off Augur Secrets and put on natural talent. There you go. That's a better build right there. And you will die a lot less. Your, your laser beam will be a little bit worse. But, you know, like I said, the laser beam is not the focus of this build at all. And those casting times are terrible. So, if you, if you feel like you want more power strength, you could, of course, put, like... Umbral Intensify, Blind Rage, wh whatever, honestly. You could probably get away with Blind Rage on this build, to be honest. Um, are the energy amounts to ca the cast's abilities with this build? 100 energy for the, the Vortex, and then 75 for Spectral Rage. You have a 225 energy pool, so I mean, you honestly, you could put Prime Flow on here if you want to. Um, I just didn't really feel like it was necessary at all. As you can see right there, I used the Laser Beam. It did not kill them, but you know. This is the steel path. It, it's the steel path, so it might it, your your mileage may vary, guys. So, hope you found this helpful. I like I said, it might be this will be more useful in the future for sure. When Necromex are emissions, this will be more useful, um, and it's it already is useful in a lot of places too. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Take it easy and thanks for watching, guys. Peace.